Hello friends, it's Terry with Terry's Mailbox and today I'm presenting for the Funky Junkie Boutique Inspiration Blog. Our theme was Hearts and Roses. So this is the mixed media tag that I made just in time for Valentine's Day. So I'm going to show you how I did it. It started with a small etc. tag that I white gessoed. I put a couple of layers on it and let them dry in between. And this is the ledger stamp and I've got Hickory Smoke Archival Ink. And so I've inked it up and I'm just kind of stamping away here. The reason I'm using Archival Ink is that I'm going to add Crackle Opaque Paste onto the top and I don't want the ink color to leach through. So again, the next thing I did was I grabbed this architecture number 369 stamp and I'm ink inking it up with black soot archival ink. So again, I wanted kind of a dramatic background that I'm then going to stencil on top of. Too much fun. So I ended up pulling out my heat tool and drying it, you know, just being sure that it was dry. I don't want any of the ink to ink to smear. So again, this is stencil number 162 called Thorned, and it's kind of a rose bush type looking thing. So I'm going to use Rustic Wilderness and Lumberjack Plaid Embossing Glaze. Those are very bright uh, deep colors. So I've got my palette knife out there, the race car one, like Tim says. And so now I'm opening up my crackle opaque, opaque paste and I'm using the palette knife to apply that to the um, top of my etc. tag. And I will admit that I ran to clean my stencil. I didn't have my lasagna pan sitting here. And um, so I had to go clean the stencil and I think the paste dried in the nanoseconds and then I was gone. Um, or it started to dry, I should say. I still did get some, some of the um, embossing glaze adhering. So again, just finishing this up and then I'm gonna go ahead and pull that and then gotta go get it, get it rinsed off. So the next thing I did was I pulled out this itty bitty tiny spoon and I'm adding lumberjack plaid onto um, the red roses in this uh, stencil paste creation that I've got going. So again, we'll go ahead and just keep adding the lumberjack plaid in the places where the, where the blooms are. And once I've got that all done, we'll tap on the back of it to kind of just make sure that the glaze gets into some of the cracks. So I'm speeding the video up here and um, adding the uh, Rustic Wilderness, again, using the same tiny spoon, because again, I'm kind of trying to hit a specific area um, on, the, on the tag. So you'll see a small red arrow at the lower right-hand section of your screen. I would love it if you would become one of my subscriber friends on my YouTube channel. Um, also, if you would give me a thumbs up and maybe even make a comment, I love to communicate with folks that uh, that are like-minded and like to um, you know like to be creative and and have fun. So again, I'm tapping it again a little bit, and we'll set it back down. And so the next thing I did was I pulled out one of the etc. cutout, large cutout hearts and a piece of backdrop paper that had a red, red rose type looking thing in the middle of it. So I traced around it and I'm trimming it. And then you'll see me flip the heart over and then trim it close to the edge so that again, the, the edges of the heart and the backdrop um, do meet. So then I'll pull out my collage medium and a small paintbrush and then I'm going to go ahead and paint the collage medium on there and then I'll add another layer onto the top. Too much fun making this one. So then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm pulling out rock candy glitter. This stuff is just so sparkly and white and crystally. It's just really cool. So again, I dumped it on top of the, of the heart and then we'll go ahead and tap it off. And then I've got this very sparkly heart. So the next thing I'm doing is I'm kind of checking out where my, where my glaze is. 
And I thought about using this metal tag, but in the end I didn't do it. I ended up using some quote chips um, instead. So again, we'll go ahead and pull out that um, piece of scrap paper, turn it over, tap it a little bit. And you can see that I didn't get a lot of, a lot of the green leaves covered. So again, I went, went back to the party mix, as Tim calls it, and tried to pull out mostly the green areas and wanted to just at least, you know, get a little more embossing glaze there towards the bottom. So I'm kind of pushing it down with my finger. Just trying to, again, get more color. So again, we'll turn it over and tap it again. It's not too bad. Um, so then I'm going to go ahead and use my larger heat tool um, with the higher setting and I'm going to go ahead and melt all of that embossing glaze on there. That's just, I love the way this turned out. Um, I think it looks, I think it looks really pretty. So again, I'm trying to get off a little bit of that embossing glaze and hoping I hadn't cooked it, but I did. So <laughs> we'll have to move on. So there's my, there's my sparkly heart. So the next thing I'm going to do is start adding ephemera in the middle. So I pulled this like calling card, floral car calling card, and then that extra leaf from a couple of my my sets of ephemera. I've collected ephemera for years. And then you can see those quote chips on there. I've got um, Be True, Heart and Soul, and In My Heart. So again, once I get all of those glued on, I'm going to kind of work on the next project, which is this metal filigree heart. Again, I collect things, um, stash them away. And uh, when, I, when I get inspired, I pull them out. So again, this is that silver filigreed heart, and I'm using red pepper alcohol ink to color it. So again, I'm just kind of dripping it on here and then I'm going to set that aside and let it dry. So I like coloring the metal metal pieces and you can see I've got inky red fingers there. <laughs> so again, pulled out the collage medium. We'll go ahead and attach that, um, that heart onto the calling card. This one was just fun to do. So the next thing I'm going to do is, um, I, it was very stark white, and so I wanted to tone it down a little bit. Didn't really want to use one of the browns, so I pulled out my Hickory Smoke um, Distress Ink again, and I'm just going to kind of outline or run it along the outline, ink the ink the exterior of the of the tag so that it tones it down a little bit. All right, I'm happy with that. So I, I inked the ribbon you can see in the upper left, and then I also ink smushed candy apple red onto this piece of distressed cardstock because I'm gonna cut out little tiny hearts with it. And the hearts are from the, um, the Crazy Cats um, die set from several years ago. So right now I'm using this red and white striped tw twine, and I'm gonna wrap it around through the hole and through the bow there. And then I'm going to make sure I leave enough um, room there that I can um, attach those little hearts there. So again, I'm kind of playing with it here to make sure that I get the twine in the right direction. But the bottom line is I needed to have three tails hanging off the front of the card, or tag, excuse me. So again, just kind of working on tying it up. And I wanted it underneath the filigreed heart, so I flipped it up and then worked on um, getting the, um, the twine tied in there. And I wanted them at three different lengths. So you see I've got them three different lengths here and then I've got three different sizes on the hearts. So what I'm gonna do is to the very end of the twine is I glued a heart front and back and then I grabbed a clip and put it on there just to make sure that it um, dried correctly. So then we'll go ahead and do another heart here. and add that on. So we're just kind of glue, gluing away here. <laughs> Got one more. I saw somebody had a card out. I saw it on, you know, Facebook or Instagram, I don't know. And I just thought it was so cute to have these tags hanging off with you know, with string or thread or whatever. And I just thought, oh, that'd be, be a cute little addition um, to, my, um, to my creation here. So 
just kind of sticking it on there and then I'll add one more clip again these are snack bag clips that I have in my craft room because sometimes you just need to hold things together so I'm double checking it here squeezing it making sure that you know that it's around the um, around the twine trimming the twine a little bit and then we'll check that last one Oh, need to trim it a little bit too <laughs> So there is my final Valentine Hearts and Roses, um, etc. tag. So I hope you've enjoyed my video. Again, it's Terry. I'm on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, and Blogger. Would love to have you come and subscribe. Have a great day.